everybody. I'm your man, Dennis Pitzenberger, here at PRI Power Auto Media inside a booth. I always love to visit Nitrous Outlet. Why? I use it, I love it, and it's the stuff I have on my two personal drag cars. David Vassar, how you doing today? What are we going to talk about? Hey, Dennis, today we're going to talk about the Stinger 4, the Boost and Juice, and uh, the new cool Zeus tool we, we released. The world's best fidget tool for Nitrous guys. All right, the Stinger plate system has been a huge success for Nitrous Outlet. Talk about its latest iteration. So recently we released the Stinger 4. The Stinger series was released in 2013. And over the years we've came to learn that not every intake manifold is exactly the same. So it requires a different style way of being fed properly on these, these larger horsepower applications. The problem child is a small block Ford. You know, the four corners are known for being hot and with the Stinger 3, we were force feeding those four corners and we realized that the, the intake, the motor just doesn't want the same amount of nitrous. So we went back to saturate and air intake charge. The Stinger 4 works like the Stinger 2. It's, it's creating that wall effect of nitrous, but it's at a downward angle. And so now the motor doesn't have to overcome uh, that wall of nitrous on, uh, up at the top end of the track. So the Stinger 4 is going to allow us to run large amounts of nitrous and saturate the air intake charge for those problem intakes. So as usual, a solution to a problem. Correct. It, it's specifically made for the taller runner or the, the plenums where it has a large distance from the top of the runner to the top of the garbage flange the, and those intakes that maybe have a hot cylinder. One of the things you also have on tap is the boosted applications from the factory, whether it be an LSA, maybe an LT4, other programs out there that have already boost going into the engine, you have a solution to make more power. Yeah, you know, we've over the years, we've been doing a bunch of dual power adder applications and your Hellcat comes with the blower now, your Mustangs come with the blower, your Camaro, your Corvette, everything's kind of boosted now. A lot a lot of the work that we do in the ha in house in our custom side is putting spray bars and blowers and building plate kits for blowers. And then we talk to people that have no clue that you could do both. And so we realized that this year we really needed to get into that area and really market to that side of the industry. So this year uh, we finished uh, RS10, which is named Stitch, like the cartoon character. And uh, it's got a pro charger on it and uh, the direct port nitrous system. And then this year in our booth, we've brought several of uh, displays to show that how we introduced nitrous in with the blower. How's been the response? Because, you know, we all know that a ZL1 Camaro or even a Mustang GT500 makes a lot of power. It's nice to get that feedback from the customer to say, listen, when I want it, it's there for me. You know, not only does it add power, these blowers create heat. So as the heat, as they get heat saturated, the quality of the air isn't that great. We put better air back in it, you know, so we're by cooling it, it'll also increase the boost and, and, the, and the car will perform better. Now you talked about it already on a mention, Stitch. Now I'm always a man to say, listen, I love a good S-Dime. That thing's gorgeous. Talk about how that truck started as a shop truck and turned into the great race car it is now. We purchased that truck for, I think it was $1,500 and it was supposed to run parts. And uh, the fuel pump went out. And next thing you know, we were moving. So to get it out of my way, I sent it to Smith Racecraft and uh, they built the chassis and it just got out of hand from there. And so then we said, okay, well, let's turn it into a, a track beater so that the guys can beat on it from the shop. Now it's got so much money in it. I don't know if we're gonna let all the guys go beat on it from the shop. One of the things that's great about that is if you're a business owner, you have to be able to show you use your products. Between that and juice, I mean, Company cars are always part of the prideful part of a business. Talk about what those two cars mean to you personally, and what they mean to Nitrous Outlet overall. Well, you know, we've been building both these cars since 2011, so it's been a, it's been a long time. The uh, Camaro will be our track car. Uh, it gives us a uh, platform that we can, we can do R&D with. Uh, Samtech has sponsored the, our motor program. And what's really cool about that is I teach out there twice a year, so we like to go back and forth with the school and if I hurt the motor, I can come back, they'll take the log and look at it and see where the motor got unhappy in the log and show the students that. They'll pull the motor apart, they'll see the damage that it was created, the students will fix that and give me the motor back and we'll go out and hopefully not hurt it the next time. But if we do, it's a learning platform for the students. So it's, it's a great two-way relationship for us. Um, the orange car, we'll be doing drag radio racing. Stitch, we're gonna use it for a street car takeover, LS Fest. Uh, cars and coffee, you know, uh, we want to do a leg of the horsepower tour and drag week. We just want to get out and have fun this year. All right, lastly, 
The grown man's nitrous loving fidget tool. You got to tell me about that. Well, you heard us talking about building both cars. I came to realize that they both had different types of Zeus tool fasteners on them. So we just made a tool that incorporated it all in one. Pops together kind of like a, a normal ball and groove style tool. And uh, you can have both. All right, David, you have a solution for anyone across the board that wants more power. If they want more information, where do we send them? NitrousOutlet.com. You heard the man, NitrousOutlet.com. Power Out of Media, PRI.